Dear students, welcome to this introductory lecture on the speech mechanism that is production of speech sounds. This lecture shall enable the students to understand how speech sounds are produced as well as the basic difference between vowel sounds and consonant sounds as far as articulation is concerned. So let us begin. Language is a system of communication through speech, written language, visual symbols, as well as different aspects of nonverbal communication like body language, facial expressions, gestures and postures. When we speak, we utter sentences. These sentences are made up of words. Words are again made up of morphemes. Now, what are morphemes? Morpheme is the smallest meaningful unit in a particular language. And the morphemes are again made up of smaller units known as phonemes or distinct sounds in a language. This lecture will primarily deal with the mechanism of the production of speech sounds in a particular language. The scientific and systematic study of speech sounds is known as phonetics. Thus, speech mechanism is an intrinsic part of the area of study which is known as phonetics. Now, let us consider a single utterance. A single utterance is the result of a series of operations involving the different organs of speech like lips, teeth, tongue, mouth, etc. The energy for the production of speech sound is provided by the air stream that comes out of the lungs. Just at the top of the windpipe or the trachea is the larynx containing the vocal cords or the vocal folds. The vocal cords can be brought together or kept apart and the opening between them is called the glottis. G-L-O-T-T-I-S. For instance, when we cough, the glottis is tightly closed and the air from the lungs is unable to pass through and is held up beneath it and then suddenly released. Whereas while we breathe out, the glottis is held open. That is the vocal cords are kept apart and not brought together. When the vocal cords are very closely held together and when the air from the lungs passes between them, the vocal cords vibrate. This vibration of the vocal cords produces voice. Now, speech sounds are broadly classified into two important categories that is the vowel sounds and the consonant sounds. For example, in the word bad, B-A-D, bad, the initial and the final sounds are two consonant sounds, B and D. And the middle sound is a vowel sound, that is A. Similarly, in the word hot, H-O-T, hot, the initial and the final sounds are the two consonant sounds, H and D. And the middle sound is a vowel sound, O. Now, in the production of the vowel sounds, the air from the lungs comes out in a continuous stream through the mouth and the vocal cords vibrate to produce voice. Speech sounds can either be voiced or voiceless. Thus, we may say that all vowel sounds are voiced. Unlike the consonant sounds, there is no closure of the air passage and also no narrowing that would cause friction in case of the vowel sounds whereas the consonant sounds are either voiced or voiceless depending upon whether the vocal cords vibrate or do not vibrate. Now let us try to get the picture of our oral cavity, our mouth cavity. The shape of the mouth cavity always depends on the position of the tongue and the lips. If we stand in front of the mirror and open our mouth widely, we will notice that the roof of our mouth is divided into three parts or three sections. They are the alveolar ridge or the tooth ridge, 
which is just behind the upper teeth, the hard palate and the soft palate, the end of which is called the uvula. When the soft palate is lowered, the air from the lungs escapes through the nose. This is the normal position in breathing. If no air escapes through the mouth, then a nasal sound is produced. For instance, ma, na, in the word man. Now let us try to understand the two organs of articulation that is lips and tongue. While articulating various sounds, the lips can be held close together or kept far apart. Thus, lips can be spread, it can be neutral, it can also be open or rounded. If we observe our tongue closely, we will notice that the tongue can be said to have three sections. The part that is opposite to the teeth ridge is called the blade of the tongue. The end of which is called the tip of the tongue. The part that is opposite to the hard palate is called the front of the tongue and the part opposite to the soft palate is called the back of the tongue. The various parts of the tongue can make a contact with or can be brought very near towards the roof of the mouth in order to produce different consonant sounds. Thus, to sum up this introductory lecture on speech mechanism, it can be said that in order to describe the production or the articulation of a speech sound, either a vowel sound or a consonant sound, we have to indicate firstly the nature of the air stream, secondly the state of the vocal cords, and finally the positions of the soft palate, the tongue, as well as the lips. Hope to come up with more lectures in the area of phonetics. Thanks for listening.